food riots, tax protests, strikes, high unemployment, all will characterize our economic future, according to our next guest. Yeah, the Trends President, uh, the Trends President Research Center. Excuse me, Gerald Salenti, Trends Research Institute, has accurately predicted a whole host of issues, economic collapse, the 89 stock market crash, the Starbucks boom, on and on and on. Your list of uh, predictions has come true. Now you're predicting what you call Obamageddon. Gerald, well, take us through. What does this mean? Well, what we're looking at is really the, it's much bigger than an economic collapse. We're looking at the decline of empire America. And in all fairness, and I'm a political atheist, I don't bow to politicians or kneel or genuflect at their altars. No, we just look at the facts for what they are. It's been long in the making, but now it's being accelerated with these programs of stimulus packages, bailouts, buyouts, government takeovers. And by the way, people are calling, is it nationalism, is it socialism? The merger of state and corporate powers, according to Mussolini, who knew a thing or two about it, is called fascism. Hmm. So what we're doing is we're looking at the disintegration of the empire in terms of this used to be the entrepreneurial empire of the world, and now it's become a place for the too big to fail. The policies being put in place are not going to work. Look at the unemployment numbers as your poll is looking at. The Obama administration said before the stimulus package that we had to vote on this because if we didn't, we were going to see unemployment hit 8% in 2009, and then it was going to peak at 9% in 2010. Well, voila, it's already at 9.5. If I had a track record like that, I'd be out of business. Gerald, I just want to read uh, to our audience some of the other things you're predicting. For the year 2012, by the year 2012, you say we will see tent cities. We'll see ghost malls. We'll see general strikes widespread. We'll see boss nappings. We'll see gang warfare. Your predictions, though you've been accurate in the past, as Clayton has said, it prompted the New York Times to say that your predictions are basically pessimism porn. Why is your outlook so much bleaker than anyone else's? Because they're selling optimism opium, confidence, hope. That's what they're selling. They're not selling reality. You know, there's the media world, the political world, and the real world. You look what's going on in the real world out there. Look at these tax protests. And again, this is something that we had forecast back when Bush was president. We said this was going to happen. This is just the beginning. History is being made. You know, I'm a Bronx boy by birth. And my saying is that when people lose everything and they have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And people are starting to lose it. It's not only their jobs they're losing, they're losing their pensions, they're losing their futures. You're going to start seeing student protests. Kids are going to college. What are they going to graduate? Doing what? And you look at, when you, at Trends Research, you're looking, because I, I can picture viewers sitting there saying, well, okay, what is he basing this on? What is Gerald basing this on? You look at a whole host of numbers and economic indicators to make this research come to light, right? And as well as global issues. Again, current events form future trends. Today we're just hearing India has now joined with Russia and China in talking about a new reserve currency. They all want to bail out of dollars. You cannot print phantom money out of thin air based on nothing and producing practically nothing without destroying the economy. So, Gerald, we hate to leave people with the vision of the apocalypse. What's the answer? Since you do crunch all of these numbers and look at all of these trends, what is the answer to making the trend tick upward again? First of all, the government has to stay out of private enterprise and stop taking equity positions in it. This whole mantra of too big to fail is a lot of baloney. When you follow the money and see where it went, these companies weren't too big to fail. Unless you think their, mother, your, their mother's better than yours, then they should shouldn't fail and yours should. This is a whole lie. But what, what's the too big to fail is the monopolies are killing Main Street. Well, Gerald Salenti, you know, last time we had you on our show, our viewers crashed your website. That's how popular you, you were on our show last time. So we're going to put that back up. People can get more information at Trends Research from all that you do. Gerald Salenti, thanks for joining us. This Thank you.